The door reads, Ming Li. It's a photo. What sort of a... Kim's got the maps I need. No point rooting through anything else. It's a lantern hook. Hey, there's a window. This stuff isn't much help either. I'm no psychologist, but I doubt Kim would be impressed if I left her here. Tempting, all the same. If my sense of direction isn't completely off, this window should lead to the alley next to the house. Kim, there's a window out there in the hallway. Let's get out of here. Finally. He's probably going to wake up at any moment. This is taking forever. Boss should have been back ages ago. Should I go see what's keeping him? Nah, the boss said we should wait here, and orders are orders. Why did it take so long, boss? <laughs> did you stay for a cup of tea or something? Shut up. That girl wasn't alone. That guy Paddock was there too. They're gone. The maps too. Paddock? I thought he was at the bottom of the harbor. You thought wrong. They cannot be far. Tell the others and start a search. This time, I will watch him die. Hey, wait. Let me check if it's safe. And what's the grand plan now? We have to get to the airport. We'll be safe at my office for a while. I'll explain everything when we get there. 
Over here. We found them. Damn. Kim, the truck's running. Jump in and step on it. I'll cover you. What about you? Drive. I'll jump in the back. They're taking the truck. I can see that myself. Get the car. Oh, crap. Better find a way to get on the truck. I can't reach it like that. The pole's not strong enough to pull myself up with it. I can't reach it like that. I can't reach it like that. strong enough to pull myself up with it. Kim! Yeah? Hit the brakes! Are you crazy? Do you want those guys to run you over? He's got a point. Kim! Yeah? Pedal to the metal, Kim! All right. Hold on tight. The pole is not strong enough to pull myself up with it. Kim! The brakes! I can't brake anymore! They're catching up again! Damn. It almost worked. Kim! Yeah? Full throttle, Kim! Okay, hang on! Kim! Hit the brakes! Okay, whatever you say. Everything okay? Yeah, hurry up! Kim, we can't lead these guys to the airport. We've got to lose them. But I know! Suggestions? Stay on this road. I'll get rid of them. It's locked. I can't open the crate with this. It's far too heavy. The glass is too far away. I really don't need to get shot by the reach it. Yeah, I think I could use that to pull a piece of glass towards me. Somehow in this case, we shut the bamboo through the hole. The glass is too far away. I really don't need to get shot trying to reach it. It's still long enough to try again. Heading for the airport as long as these guys are right behind us. I can't open the crate with this. Kim! Don't head for the airport till we've lost them! You've said that already! Don't worry, I'll just stay on this road and try not to run anyone over. Okay, I'll try to come up with a way to shake them off. The horn is tied down. Can't pull it away. A small piece of tough wood. It's small enough. I'll wrap the rag around the end. I can't open the crate with this. I don't smoke. Right, 
fit, but it's a good one. I don't want to put that in the crate. of action in an enclosed space, but as far as Paddock's concerned, fire makes any situation more exciting. that they are getting away. What are you waiting for? Put your foot down! The engine's dead, boss. Oh, no. Hmm? Oh, oh, damn it. it. Well, we lost them for now, but they won't be far behind. Then you haven't got long to fill me in, have you? What's going on? You have to leave Hong Kong, Kim. The Tong Triad wants your uncle's notes and they're not known for asking nicely. What do they want them for? I don't know. Yet. But you have to trust me. Trust you? And how am I supposed to do that? You disappear for over a year and then turn up on my doorstep like nothing's changed. Kim, forget about that for five seconds. You're not safe here. And where do you suggest I go? I haven't learned to disappear into thin air since we last met. Don't worry, my plane's fueled up and ready. We could leave straight away. In your plane? And just where do you suggest we go? Well, I have some things to take care of in Tibet. You could come with me. You're out of your mind! Until you tell me what's going on, I'm staying right here. We don't have time for this! Come with me and I'll explain on the way. I can't come with you. What am I supposed to do in Tibet? Damn it, they're on their way here right now. Kimmy, either you get into the plane voluntarily, or I'm going to bundle you into the cargo hold. But it's ice cold in there. I don't even have any stuff. Sweater, makeup, toothbrush. I've got stuff. Have it all if you like. Well, I'll have a sweater. You can keep your toothbrush. Whatever. Get moving. So, Fenton, I suppose we're safe now? Uh, yes. Yes, I'd say we are. Good. Time to tell me your side of the story. Okay, okay. What do you want to know? Where should I start? Was it your fault that the dock workers died? I was officer in command that evening. The situation was getting out of hand. The workers got violent, throwing things. That's why we wanted to pull out. Nobody was supposed to get hurt. I was about to get everyone withdrawn when Richard went down. A few of the dock workers dived on him. It was a split-second decision. I stayed, ran over to Richard. God knows what they would have done to him. Then things really got out of hand. Part of my unit followed me, and I suppose the workers thought we wanted to break them up. So they attacked us. What happened next? One of my men opened fire. You get bad orders, you lose your nerve. It happens. Everyone started shooting into the crowd. I tried to call a ceasefire. Eight people died before I did. I... I should have left Richard behind. What?! One life versus eight. Easy maths. You can't weigh one life against another. It's not how it works. How kind of you. So now you're on my side. It was my job to know things might get out of hand. I had an order and I ignored it. We were explicitly told to withdraw to prevent people getting killed. Fenton, that is so... I don't know. If you hadn't been there to help Richard, he would have been killed and... I know, Kim. And I don't regret having saved Richard's life. But I'm not proud of what I did. Those eight men. Their families. 
That day is burnt into the back of my mind. You mean being discharged from the army? Yes. Among other things. But if all that's true, then it was just an accident. Didn't it count for anything that you saved the life of the governor's son? Richard was supposed to be kept out of it all. You never know what people might start saying if they knew he was there. Richard pulled all the strings he could to keep me out of prison. I owe him everything. Other people wanted to see my head roll afterwards. The Empire had to find a way to appease the Chinese population, so the person responsible was dishonorably discharged from His Majesty's service. And I accept that decision. In spite of the circumstances, I had a job to do and I failed. Richard and his unit were deployed in northern India soon after. We've hardly seen each other since. Fenton. Yes? Why didn't you tell us about all this? Did you really think we wouldn't believe you? Who knows? But... The men who were shot were your people. I guess I figured it would change things between us. You could have trusted us. My uncle missed you. And? and? Oh, nothing. So, why don't you tell me what we're doing in Tibet? Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Well, we've cheated death several times in the last few hours, so I reckon we're on a roll. Anyway, you promised you'd tell me. Okay, okay. Richard needs my help again. The irony of fate. He disappeared on an expedition. No trace of him or his men for weeks. But it's all top secret. So Lord Weston asked me to go after him. Unofficially. He knows I'd do anything for Richard. And? What does all that have to do with my uncle's maps? Obviously Richard used them to plan his route. That's why I'm hoping the maps will help me find him. And the Triads? Are they looking for Richard too? I don't think so. But it can't be coincidence. So, what do you want to do next? Well, we're almost there. I'll drop you off in Katang before I start. You'll find a few decent hostels there. I guess I'll be gone two or three weeks. Once winter hits, I won't be able to cross the mountains. If I haven't found Richard by then... Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss something? You're dropping me off in Pawang? Katang. Whatever, I'm not going. I'm not gonna wait in some dump in the middle of nowhere for you to ride in on your high horse and rescue me a month down the line. Fine. What do you suggest? You're not coming with me. To say you're unprepared would be an understatement. But that's not what I was saying. I just don't want to be left behind in some mountain village. There must be some larger city en route, right? No, we're talking about Tibet. The only other option would be Lhasa, but that's too far out of the way. You're staying in Katang until I get back. I'm sorry, maybe you didn't notice, but it's been quite a while since we last saw each other. I'm not a little girl anymore, and you can't push me around like you used to. I'm sorry, Kim. I just don't want to drag you into all this any further. The last time I tried to help Richard, things didn't go too well. I don't want that to happen again, you understand? Really, it's better this way. Great, and what am I supposed to do while you're gone? Yak herding? Every little girl's dream. And what if something happens to you? I'll be stuck there forever. Or at least until some other thoughtless gung-ho pilot accidentally strays this way and picks me up. Kim Duck! Damn it! Um, did he just shoot at us? A German fighter plane? He just shot at us! I can't believe it! What's he doing in Tibet? I couldn't care less. He shot at us. He actually just shot at us. Shoot back! What? You know, shoot back. Machine guns, cannons. Uh, I deliver sacks of rice to Kathmandu for a living. This is a cargo plane, not a war machine. And therefore, no, it does not have any weapons on board. You're telling me we have no way of defending ourselves? I didn't say that. Take the controls. I'm going to the back to take care of our little friend. Okay, Fenton, think. Think of a plan. Plan, plan, plan. I'll take one with me.
pumpkin had an opening to pour the flour into, it would work. But it doesn't. So it won't. If I add butter and eggs, I could make a tasty dough. But then I'd need a bowl, an oven, knives and forks. Maybe not so practical after all. some holes in this baby now. Okay, I can pour some flour through the holes. Okay, I'll add a little more water. Get the starboard engine. Don't panic. I'll switch it off and try to stabilize us. You can fly with one engine? This baby's got three, which means we've got two left. But don't worry. I'm an expert at emergency landings. Crap! I've never tried it with only one wing before. There's a field over there. I'm taking us down. Hold on tight! Fenton! Indeed. Our contact in Hong Kong has reported back. Continue. It looks like the cartographer's records have disappeared. What do you mean? Disappear to where? And what about the cartographer? He died just recently. Only a few days after passing on copies of his maps to the British recon unit. And the originals? Someone must have them. The men we've assigned to the job assume the originals are in the hands of the cartographer's niece. Unfortunately, they were not able to reach the girl because a former soldier is protecting her. Better and better. If you want something done, do it yourself. In any event, the girl and the soldier were able to escape. I am somewhat disappointed, Putin. But very well. We will continue. Who is this soldier? Why might he need the maps? What kind of threat is he to us? Collect all the information you can on him and the girl. I will be flying to Berlin for a week. I expect answers when I return. Jawohl. Anything else, Lieutenant? One of our recon aircraft is missing. It was on routine surveillance this morning and hasn't returned. I suggest sending out a search unit. Yes, do so. If the machine has crashed, you must find the pilot as well as the aircraft. Get rid of any traces that might lead to our camp. It will mean the majority of the men being sent out. Yes. I emphasize once again, 
Find the crashed aircraft and eliminate all tracks leading to us. Our mission must remain confidential at all costs until we have opened the chamber in the monastery. After that, we will not need to hide from anyone ever again. Kimmy? Can you hear me? Kim, please say something! Damn it. I need to get up there fast. I can't open it with my bare hands. Looks like I can still use this. It's only the seat that's missing. I'll take it with me. Crap. We've crashed in the middle of the uncharted Himalayas. We could be hundreds of miles away from anything. Nice view, though. I could use that to pry open the lid. Who would have guessed? It worked. The crate's open. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. A gramophone and a few records. Most of it's smashed to pieces. I'd take a ration pack over smashed records any day. Although I'd take whole records and a working gramophone over the ration pack, Josephine Baker is all the sustenance I need. My Ford. They only made 199. I guess there's one less now. Still, I better get to Kimmy. She's almost as beautiful. I can't reach it from down here. It's too steep and icy. I can't climb up there without help. Unfortunately, the gramophone horn is the only part that survived the plane crash. I can use this to replace the missing seat. The record shattered and the rest of the gramophone's MIA. Not promising. A small folding table with four legs. I don't really need a sled with legs just now. Whoa! Good boy! Good sheep! The Argali's trying to defend its territory. I'll leave it to it. There must be a way to do this without bloodshed. Especially since it's most likely to be my blood getting shed. A sled as a weapon? I'm an intelligent guy. I can think my way around this obstacle. They look like ritual incense sticks. This seems to be a place of worship for the locals. Although it looks like they might have more popular tourist attractions.
the wrecked Messerschmitt. Looks like it didn't get much further than my little Ford. Good, might be something over there I can use to help Kim. I need to get over this crevasse first. That's nearly a 200 meter drop. Lucky I'm not afraid of heights or anything at all. If I could take a run up and if it weren't so slippery, and if the wind were a bit calmer, then maybe, just maybe, I'd be able to jump over to the other side. However, this massive collection of conditionals does give me the feeling that my plan might be a tad too risky. I doubt I can move it. The plateau's pretty windswept. All the snow's been blown away. The wing of the aircraft. I can't reach it. No point trekking up there for no reason. If I could take a run up, however, No thanks, my fingers are already frozen stiff. A big pile of snow. I can use this to collect some snow. I'll spread the snow evenly across the rock, but I'll need a couple more loads to get everything covered nicely. Okay, I'm done. That's nearly a 200 meter drop. If I could take a power. I can't believe I'm about to jump a crevasse in a sled, but it's all fixed up and there's enough snow. Made my sled better lie in it. Can't believe that worked. Stunning. There's some sharp edges. I can't remove it with bare hands. I could use that to remove the cover without cutting my hands. Let's see if I can find anything useful. The tail of the wreck has caught fire. This isn't a moving picture though. It's not about to explode. Though if it did, I'm sure that somehow a lone cartwheel would roll out of the wreck. A dirty pilot's jacket. Hmm. The pockets are empty, but something seems to be sewn in between the leather and the lining. The blade isn't sharp enough to cut open the jacket. Ah, that'll work. I can cut out the jacket lining to find... some kind of document.
If my German's up to scratch, which it isn't, but let's assume it is, then this is the permit you need for safe escort through a foreign country during a military operation. I should have a closer look at it. I can see two seals down here. One's Tibetan government, but I don't know the other one. Some kind of German organization. The Tool Society. Never heard of that before. Regardless, looks like the Germans are here with Tibet's blessing. Something for Lord Weston once we get home. It's in German and Tibetan. It says the holder of this document has ensured safe passage at checkpoints and a certain level of immunity with local authorities. The name of the operation seems to be written up here. Vril. Ah, of course. Vril. Why, that means... Actually, no, I have no idea what that means. Something German, probably. It's in German... Considering the temperatures, I really don't need to get any important part of my body wet right now. It's a puddle of melted water. The gramophone horn has an opening in the bottom. This makes it an impractical liquid receptacle. skin stinks of yaks, but I have more important things than laundry to take care of right now. It's a puddle of melted water. The record shattered and the rest of the gramophone's MIA. Most of the cockpit is missing. Looks like the pilot got out in time. The wing is too heavy to take with me, but I can push it over the slippery ground. Kim! Thank goodness. She's alive. Kim! Can you hear me? Damn it, she's unconscious. But I'll never get her out of the wreck without her help. I need to wake her somehow. No good as long as she's stuck in the cockpit. I need to get her out of there. I can't reach it. The propeller blade's too short. I can't reach the parachute with it. Perhaps I can push the cockpit to the side a bit and then pull him out. No chance. I'll never get Kim out of there without her help. 